good morning my little butterflies so this video should be quick like i pulled up to work 30 minutes early i wanted to do it yesterday but i didn't have time because i went and got a root canal yesterday so this video is just going to be me going through my libro fm collection kind of like a I guess like a Libro FM haul. It's not books that I've recently bought. Like they're books that I've already had, but I want to show what's in my Libro FM library. So um, Libro FM is, it's kind of like an Audible subscription. It's $14.95 a month. You get one free book credit and then all the other books after that are 30% off. So how I, I try to go about it is, um, I look at like the new releases and I look at how much like the physical new releases are and if they're like $20 or like in that range if I know damn well I'm not about to buy it myself I'll use my free credit for it or if it's a book that I want to read but it's, I know I'll get through it a lot faster and kind of it'll kind of stick better through an audiobook like um like if it's like a biography or if it's like a a, a memoir or like a like you know nonfiction. <laughs> I kind of get through a lot better like listening to it versus reading then I'll do that as an audio book but I don't know I think I like this more than audio that more than audible <laughs> sorry okay guys so here we are on the opening screen of my um, Libro FM um, playlist so recently they just up upgraded it to where it kind of sections off the different genres because it didn't used to do that so I did not do that but um I have eight books total I finished three I've downloaded four and I have one that I haven't downloaded yet because I haven't read the four, the four that are currently downloaded I kind of undownload them after I'm done reading them so to see all of the books <laughs> um which really I think I want to start from the books that I've read already so let's do that so the books that I finished already, the first one was White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. Why it's so hard for white people to talk about racism. And I finished that. It was six hours and 20 minutes. Um, I read it for a readathon. Well, I listened to it for a readathon, whatever. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I found myself uh, agreeing with them a lot. I did a review for it, I believe. And um, if I did, I'll link the video the, in the eye above. Or I'll also list it down below so you guys can um, see my review of this book. But I thought it was a really, 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 really good book. And honestly, I probably would have never read it if I... Because the only reason I heard about it was through BookTube for the readathon. So if I wouldn't have heard it, I would have never known about it. Um, then we have We Want to Do More Than Survive, Abolitionist Teaching and the Pursuit of Educational Freedom by Bettina L. Love, which is, um, I also read this for a different readathon. I think I read this for the fuckathon. And I really, really enjoyed this one. Like, I, I didn't, I thought I was going to like it, but I didn't think I was like, none of the books like this, you don't think like, oh my God, I love it. But I actually, actually loved this book. It's seven hours and 48 minutes. It, and the length of it changes depending on the speed that you read it on. And I try to listen to it either like on 1.25 or 1.5. I kind of start out with 1.25 and then I'll speed it up like later. But, um... Yeah, I, I listen to this a lot, like, on the way back and forth from work, like, cleaning up around the house. Like, I really enjoyed this book. I can't remember what I rated it, but it touched on a lot of things that I'm always bringing up. Even just the fact that, like, young black girls, like, teenagers and children are treated more like adults than actually children versus, like, white black girls and boys or white not white but like asian girls aren't treated as like adults as teenagers like if you're like a young black girl you're treated more like a woman and you're ex like you're just so sexualized from a younger age and i'm so happy I, like before i read this i had been bringing that up about stuff like that and then i read it i was like i was just talking about this shit so i really enjoyed this book as well and then the next book that I finished was Three Dark Crowns, which was fucking great. Like, honestly, I didn't think I was going to like Like, I thought I was going to like it, but I didn't think I was going to love it because it was just way too much hype built up around this book. So, personally, I didn't think I was going to like it. Because I'm like, everything that gets, like, really hyped up on BookTube doesn't really end up being great. <laughs> so, this book itself was 9 hours and 52 minutes. And I enjoyed it. The ending, though. The ending... 
I wasn't expecting that in the ending. But before she said it, like, I wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking about every other thing that could have happened to why stuff was going on the way it was going on about all kind of different shit they're like oh well, maybe you know it'll happen later but it never i guess because my mind was so on something bigger something else that shit completely was not and i liked it though it wasn't like it wasn't what i was hoping i thought it was gonna be something just crazy as shit but it really wasn't so the way it ended i really love the cliffhanger that it ended on and it's like i'm scared to listen to the second book because this is how i don't know if i'm ready for the bullshit that's gonna happen because i feel like there's gonna be a lot of bullshit but i really really like this book i think i gave it a four stars i don't think i gave it a five but i think i gave it a four but yeah i really enjoyed this one it is by kendar blake it's really good like I wouldn't give it as much credit as a lot of booktube gives it like it wasn't the best book i've ever read read but it was it was pretty good that's the books that i finished already um and then let's look at the books that i have downloaded um i'll start with see which because that's the one i'm about to start listening to next because it's been on here longer than other ones so i have Sitch, see which by sarah henning and um this is a four hour and 40 minute book so it it moves pretty fast it, it doesn't seem like it's like a long book but it is like a mix of wicked meets the little mermaid as they say from what i understand it's kind of like a retelling um of the little mermaid but like about ursula is what i'm uh, it's what i understand and it's a lot of like magic and shit going on and it's supposed to be like kind of the beginnings of ursula but like you know of course different names but it's supposed to be how ursula became ursula like why she's so nasty and all of this shit so i'm excited to see what the fuck is gonna happen because lately i've been falling in love with villains because as we all know like you're trained to not like the villains and then when they start making these backstories for them as adults you'd be like i fucking get it completely get it because baby when i tell you I 100% understand Maleficent, like, why she is the bitch that she is. I'm like, I'm not fucking mad at her. Shit, she, he deserved it. Like, I'm not mad at her at all. Like, I completely understand. That's how you know you're getting older. When you look at those stories, you're like, you know what? I get it. I get it. Like, she is valid for acting the way she's acting. So, I hope I enjoyed this. Um, This was on BookTube a lot. Um, I've heard good things about it so hopefully i like it i'm a little i'm a little nervous about it because i'm scared i'm gonna hate it and i don't want to hate it i really hope i like it then the next book i have on here is this is my america by kim johnson um this one is five hours and 18 minutes um this one i think it's about i think it's about her and like her group of friends like um kind of like protesting and they have like their own organization that they uh do the protest about and i think her dad's in jail yeah her dad's in jail i think they're trying to prove his innocence if i'm yeah yeah yeah, yeah. her dad's in jail and uh well her dad went to jail for something that they're trying to blame on her brother and they're trying to prove that neither one of them had anything to do with it so it seems like a really good race race to time like kind of mystery solving um novel but also with the real world problems of racism thrown in there so i'm excited about this is it, this one seem like it's gonna be like a heart thump but like it's gonna have your heart racing so i'm excited for this one i don't know if i heard too much about this one on booktube yet though which i really haven't been in tuned into booktube a lot lately so i'll go and check and see but from before i don't think i've heard too much about this book last year at all then I have Kids Off the Block by Diane Liker and Bethany Mulger. Y'all see the name. I, I, I'm trying to pronounce it, but I'm not that great. This one I found just like scrolling through Libro FM. It's supposed to be five hours and seven minutes. And it's supposed to be about this lady um, and her quest. This is like a, a nonfiction story. A nonfiction book, I should say, not story. But um, it's about this, this woman's quest to kind of save chicago's kids they're at ut uh at risk youth and like her story of what she went through and trying to you know figure out what's going on trying to save them trying to get them on the right path and i know if i like to listen in the books like this when i read um uh we want to do more than survive and they made me realize that i i enjoy listening to books like this so that's what made me get this one 
Then the next one I have is from the desk of Zoe Washington. This one, it, oh, it's by Janae Marks, I'm sorry. This one is three hours and 25 minutes, so it's also going to be another quick one. I, I think this is the middle grade, um, a middle grade novel, if I'm correct. But this book is about, I think her dad, her dad is in jail, and she has to prove his innocent or try to figure out if he's innocent because she doesn't know. So she's kind of starting her own investigation to see why he's in jail look at suspects and see if he's the one that really did it and if not who's supposed to be in jail so i'm excited for this one i haven't this is my first audio book like listening to a middle grade novel since of course since like we were in school and they used to play the audio books for us so it's been a while since i listened to a middle grade novel but i like the middle grade books like they're fun like even like their content isn't like super heavy it's kind of like no matter what it is it could be a serious topic but it doesn't like weigh on you like the young adults and like the adult novels do it don't like make you want to die so i'm excited for these because they're usually really really freaking fun um let me see i have another one that's not downloaded that i haven't downloaded yet and that's the deep that is it's the deep by alma katsu it's 12 hours and 49 minutes long i haven't downloaded it yet but um this one i think is like a horror mystery but i think this is the retelling one as well oh the titanic yeah 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 this one is like a retelling of the titanic and i think it's like the titanic but it's like a ghost ship or something like that i'm trying not to just sit here and read the synopsis to y'all but this is the last one that I got and I've kind of paused my library of M until I kind of catch up reading Because I don't want to just have a library full of audiobooks that I'm not freaking reading So I'm trying to catch up on them before Because you can pause it You can keep it paused for as long as you need You don't have to go through and like repause it every month You can pause it and then like come back and unpause it when you're ready So I'm going to catch up on these books and then I'll go back uh, Go ahead and like unpause it and restart my subscription yeah, this is like a retelling of the Titanic, but from one of the survivors' point of view. Um, when she, uh, like, they, she's going back and she's working as a nurse on a Titanic sister ship. And, yeah, I think it's like a, it's like a ghost mystery novel. But <laughs> I'm excited about this one. Um, I'm, I think I heard about this one. Like, I saw it browsing through Library FM, but I'm, I think I remember hearing something about it on BookTube at some point. So, yeah, I'm super excited about these books. That is my Libro FM collection, what I have in my audio stash. Um, I want to do one for my Kindle, but, like, I don't have anything to screen record with, like, on my Kindle. So, I don't know how I would do that without literally just sitting there. But it's so much shit on my Kindle, and I don't really want <laughs> That's going to be a long video. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for my Libro FM Library FM is fourteen ninety five a month. You can pause it when you want to. If in case you need to pause it, you can pause it however long you need to. Um, you get the fourteen ninety five a month comes with um, a free book credit for any book that you choose, and then every book's the rest of the month is thirty percent off. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, also you'll be donating money to like a local one of your local bookstores. You get to choose what bookstore you want to support. Um, and the the money. Like, I don't know if it's the complete funds of the money of the book that you would have gotten, but, or is it, or if it's a percentage, which I'm sure it's like a percentage maybe, goes to your local bookstore. So you're helping out your local bookstore as well using Library FM. Audio, Audible doesn't have that. <laughs> it's $14.95 a month. And with Audible, I don't know if, um, I don't know how much the rest of the books are that month. Oh, and you can also gift books for Libro FM. I don't know. I never used Audible, so I'm not sure. Well, I use Audible for the free credit. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't, I'm not sure if they let you gift books. Like, you can buy an audiobook and gift it, even if your friend does not have Libro FM, and you can send it to them. They can download it. They, it, they don't, it doesn't tie them to a monthly subscription. You're just giving them the book. They can sign up for the money subscription but it's not final like they have to do it to get the book that you sent them but they definitely can you can give a certain months of subscription form if you want to which i think was really cool because like i know my mom likes audiobooks so like if i want to send it to her that's something that i can do and she's not like tied to a monthly subscription now so yeah that's all i have for you guys thanks for watching my video even though this is like my first one doing it like this. So I hope um, I didn't do too much scrolling. 
and um yeah <laughs> so yeah uh thank you guys for watching my video stitch is my spirit animal don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye